Hi there, Mark Costner here from Dreamweaver Beginner Tips. Well, I'm back from my travels overseas, traveling through Tokyo, Berlin and Hong Kong, and I have to tell you it was a wonderful trip. But you haven't come here to hear about my trip. If you do want to find out a bit more about it, you're more than welcome to pop over to our travel blog at jennyandmarksadventures.com. But in the meantime, our team's been working on a special step-by-step -step Dreamweaver course that'll teach you everything you need to know to build your whole website using Dreamweaver. Here's how to access the special Dreamweaver step-by-step -step course. Pop on over to dreamweaverbeginnertips.com. Then look on the menu and you'll find the second menu item is called step-by-step. Simply click on that menu item and you'll be taken to a new page. What you'll find here is a Dreamweaver course that's been broken down into three levels. Firstly, in the beginning. Next, an intermediate level. And finally, advanced instructions. And very shortly, we'll be adding even more lessons to the lesson plan. Now, following this lesson plan is really simple. As you can see, each lesson is numbered 1.1, 1.2, 2.1, 2.2, etc. Simply start from the first one and work your way through one at a time. So let's take a look at what you can expect to find in these actual lesson plans. Well the first thing you'll see is that you'll discover what the aims and objectives of this particular lesson plan are. In other words, what you're going to learn and what you're going to be able to actually do once you've gone through these tutorials. Next, further down the page, you'll find the actual session videos. And we've broken this down into the various versions of Dreamweaver. For example, if you're using Dreamweaver MXOR8, then you'll use the, the videos in the Dreamweaver MXOR8 section. Or, if you're using Dreamweaver CS3, you'll use the videos you'll find in the Dreamweaver CS3 section. Once again, here, we've split it down into various sections. For those of you who are beginners, for those of you that have a bit more knowledge and feel a bit more comfortable with Dreamweaver, and finally, for those of you that advanced Dreamweaver experience. And here's what you do. Simply click on one of the tutorials and you'll be taken to the actual tutorial page. Here you'll find all the various Dreamweaver tutorials, both in video version and in a step-by-step -step text version. Once you've finished the tutorial, simply click on Back, and you'll be taken back to the actual lesson plan. Now to make things even easier for you, we've also included tools and procedures and templates that are related to any of those tutorials. And we've even given you a recommended time schedule, so you don't feel too overwhelmed by trying to do too many tutorials at once. And finally, which is the most important part, the actual action steps. In other words, what you need to do once you've gone through the actual tutorials to go off and create various elements or web pages for your website. Well, I hope you really enjoy the new Dreamweaver course and get your websites up and running as soon as possible.